champion, current champion. So who will come out on top of this world title match? Let's take a special look. Man up. Man up. Man up. Those aren't just words that you live by, Jay Briscoe. Every time the crowd chants man up, Something switches in that head, those eyes roll over, and you stand ready to fight. Big bitch. Think you big. Unbreakable my ass, I'll break you, boy. Toronto, Ontario, you walk into hostile territory. I can't wait to get in the ring with this big bitch ass. See, the crowd in Toronto no longer chants man up. They chant... Let's go, Elgin. You ain't that bad, Elgin. You ain't that bad, man. They chant, Elgin's gonna kill you. And Jay, that's exactly what I'm set on doing. You write the whole lot of checks that your bitch ass can't cash, man. You go around talking about two years not being pinned. Hey, man, let me tell you something. To beat a man, you got to beat the man. The thing is, I ain't never get beat. The way I see it, I'm still the man, you big bitch, you big pumpkin you big bitch. You haven't been pinned in two years, but you haven't wrestled me in those two years. Unbreakable! I'm about to break your bitch ass and take back which was rightfully mine in the first place. This is your life starting September 6th. I'm coming for your ass, boy. All you have in your future, Jay, is disappointment. You ain't as bad as you think you is. This belt was never yours. It was mine since the beginning. Well, it's time now for the Ring of Honor World Championship match. Jake Briscoe versus Unbreakable Michael Elgin. Center, Jay Briscoe was home, nursing a shoulder injury, and was watching the, you know, while he was away, the, tele the World Championship Tournament was underway. That's what happened one year ago. I talked to Jay Briscoe today. He said, this is my first time here, and I'm going out a winner. I think you probably threw a couple more curse words in there, too. Well, I think you're paraphrasing. Yeah, again. But the focus of a man who has not been pinned in two years, Nigel, I mean, that is we're unprecedented. Well, absolutely. Yeah, imagine that. You only been being in a singles competition in two years. What the confidence this man is going to have? I used to be excited if I went two months without getting beat. Two years is a long time. Very determined. I don't think there's any doubt in his mind he's going on this champion. Michael Elgin has something to say about that. Oh, he kicked up the flag. Capturing the title at best in the world. Fulfilling what he believed was a destiny. And has marched through the competition. One by one. Until the nightmare. He'll face a former world champion, but Elgin says keep lining them up. I'm going to keep knocking them down until I am the best world champion in Ring of Honor history. It's always one of Michael Elgin's goals to be the real one of world champion, and now that he's here, he wants to create a legacy as strong as any of the former champions. But to do that, he has to go through Jay Briscoe here tonight. Immortality will not be an easy one for Elgin. And the next chapter in his quest stands across from him. Let's go to our ring announcer, Bobby Cruz, for the championship introductions. Who we contest is scheduled for one for a 60 minute time limit. And it's for the Ring of Honor World Championship. Introducing first to my left, the challenger, wrestling out of Sandy Fort, Delaware. Weighing 231 pounds, Jay Briscoe! His 
opponent to my right. Wrestling out to Ronto, Ontario, Canada. Oh. Weighing 267 pounds, he is the Ring of Honor World Champion, Unbreakable. Response from Michael Elgin. If it was going to be a tough night for Jay, let's take a look at this turn of the tape. The surprising experience of Elgin, I think, is one thing that it always has. It. Oh, he came on in the scene a few years ago? No, he's been a pro now in his 11th year. With size on his side and the possession of the Ring of Honor world title, Jay Briscoe has quite a mountain to climb tonight. Steve, if he wants to become a two time champ. Oh, absolutely. You, we talked about it. In 11 years, it, it took him a long time to get here to Ring of Honor, whereas Jay Briscoe, he's been here since day one. But the Jay Briscoe of 2014 is nowhere near the Jay Briscoe of 2002. Don Sinclair, the referee. There was a smattering there of Helgen's going to kill it, Chance, but now it's about even. We're not going to waste any time here. Where's your money, Steve, if you're a gambling Oh, Ooh, this one's a tough one. Yeah? Because Briscoe has a, yeah, because Briscoe hasn't been pinned in two years, but we're in Toronto. This is Elvis' hometown, and he's got a lot of momentum since winning the championship at yeah. Best in the World. Going in. I, I gotta give the edge to Elgin, but only slightly. Yeah. Going in as the champion gives Elgin an edge. And at some point, I mean, Jay Briscoe, I don't think he can win matches forever. Somehow, someway, somebody is going to beat Jay Briscoe in a singles match. No and one is unbeatable. No, no one is unbeatable. And will that be what happens here tonight? With certainly the uh, crowd on the side of Elgin. Briscoe's so intense. I mean, I think he used that anger from the injury and the, the, the title being stripped from him to, you know, at first we thought he was angry and a little bit of crazy, but it, it, he's used this this new anger to his advantage. And I say new, it's, it's been a year. Well, he's found the proper channel for it. Good. And, and again, how would, it, and again, we're, if, if Elgin is indeed the winner here tonight, would roll up. How will Jay Briscoe's psyche be impacted if, if there is a loss? You know, that first loss will happen at some point. How will that change, Jay? It's scary, too, right? Oh. Briscoe got caught coming in, and now we saw Elgin unveil. Is he going to try this again? I can't believe it. Look out! Oh. Elgin, for a guy 267 pounds, can, can move so, so quick. Doesn't even try a pinfall attempt though. See him there shaking his head off a little bit. Every time you land on that mat, knocks a little bit out of you. Yeah. You only have so many in the bump card. Oh. Oh. Club coming down. Elgin with very intense title defenses against Silas Young and Tommaso Ciampa at Death Before Dishonor weekend. Yeah. We've seen him defend against Roderick Strong, against the almighty Matt Hardy. I mean, he's been a fighting champion. Oh, he got all of that boot as well. Just crushes Jay in the corner with those knees. One thing about Elgin, he'll never graze you. He doesn't do subtle. No. There it is. I think with big title matches like this, though, boys, it comes down to who wants it most. Let me ask you a question. Who wants it most? Jay Briscoe, does he want to be the two-time champion? Or Michael Elgin wants to hold on and create that legacy? Who wants it most? Yes. So hard to hold that championship once. I mean, it's almost impossible twice. 
12 and a half years, we've only seen one man hold the ROH World Championship twice. There must be a reason for that. Absolutely. When you lost the championship, Nigel, what was your thoughts? Was your thought about regaining it, or were, were you no, so no, exhausted? I never want to be champion again. Right. <laughs> <laughs> I want to live to see 65. <laughs> it takes a, a physical and emotional toll on you. Uh, you know, you're kidding. The Ring of Honor World Championship is different than any other title in professional wrestling. For the honor that is bestowed upon the champion with the toll that it takes on the man who wears it. And that's the thing, though, the world championships that I held were very important. I'm, I'm not saying that they weren't, but there's something about the ROH World Championship is, whoa. Is there, I mean, you are putting your body on the line in every event, and you, you got that target on you. It takes an exceptional man to hold the ROH World Championship. So, yeah. Elgin's you, Nigel. Uh, thank you. Well, Elgin's exceptional as well. Yeah, absolutely. Same, same with Jade Briscoe, same with Samoa Joe, CM Punk, Adam Cole, Loki. I mean, there, there hasn't been many ROH World Champions, but they've all been important. Sunning forearms from Elgin. Elgin's getting more behind his. Jay went to land the big haymaker, but Elgin struck first. Of course, it was a shoulder injury. Oh, no. Elgin just get dropped. Both men are down. It was Toxin Clare is counting. A shoulder injury that led to uh, Jay Briscoe being stripped of the title. And shoulder he never had surgically repaired. Says he'll deal with it when his wrestling career is over. Sometimes I feel partially responsible for that. You might have had a thing or do, you know, at least you knew a lot about it. You were in the, you were in the vicinity when it happened. Uh, his back has been crushed now. Not thinking about his shoulder. But every time I see Jay Briscoe wrestle, I think about that point that comes up in his clavicle. While he's been medically cleared, probably wouldn't be passing too many physicals for health insurance. For no, life insurance. absolutely not. <laughs> Elgin is the man, no doubt about it. Uh, Jane Grisco is going to have to man up here. He really has a heart as big as anybody in Ring of Honor. And he just did it. Watch out guys at ringside, you better be careful with these two guys yep. flying around. This is a different Jay Briscoe now on the Jay Briscoe. Jay Briscoe just see. said, screw this. What does that mean? I don't know. He's looking for something under the ring. A lot of streamers under the ring. Hope he's not looking for chair, I don't want to stand up. I mean, I got beach wear on, but... Count these guys out. He wants a clear winner and a clear loser. As has been the history with the Ring Honor World title. There's now, definitely something under the ring that he wants. Yeah, Jay is determined to figure it out. Oh. Oh. Briscoe bounces off the edge of the ring frame. And now instead of Briscoe going under the ring, it's Elgin. Well, that's clearly what he was looking for. You can see, I think, the edge of a table. Yep. That's... Well, now he's really a favorite of the fans here. Beat it, Bobby! Somebody's missing from that table. Hey, Briscoe, now can only sit and watch. Wide open, did he get his hands up to protect himself?
feel what both of these guys had in mind. Up in the stakes in this one by employing a table. Might take a time before either of them get to use it. They'll get knocked down too. And Todd Sinclair, as you mentioned before, Steve, the lenient. Basically no count out policy here in this world title match, it seems like. Jay gonna suplex Elgin through that table. Better be careful. You grab Michael Elgin in the front face like, like that. He's just as light as suplex you. Oh! Ow. Back of his head hit that chair. I made a sickening sound. Sto. I actually think it may have been his arm on the way down. Was it his arm or? Maybe in the arm. And I hope that's not the shoulder that was injured before. I can see a weld already on his back. I hope it wasn't his head. Now if it was... Well, as a wrestler, as you know, Steve, you, you get that almost sixth inch, so when you know how high you are from the floor, you prepare to land in about five feet. But when something catches you halfway down, you're totally unprepared. Unprepared, you can never get used to it. Elgin with the head of steam. Briscoe. Look at the way Jay puts the brakes on the waist lock attempt, but there may be no denying the strength of Helgen. And now Elgin's getting into his stride. Coming on strong. I think if he was a slight favorite before, I'd put him as a strong favorite now. Up to his feet, clearly way ahead of Jay Briscoe. Table is still there, he may not need it. A straight go here, that buckle bomb, but no. Briscoe crashes down, you can see that welt across the back of Briscoe from landing on that chair before. Here at All Star Extravaganza 6, the world title is at stake. Unbreakable Michael Elgin, the champion, Jay Briscoe, the challenger. Some of the neck breaker hooks the near leg. Beautiful neck breaker, smooth as silk, like clockwork. And the years of hitting that again and again and again. And Jay Briscoe, you can see they're really sucking wind now late on in the match. As I said, Jay Briscoe, he's not going to take anything away from his athletic ability, but this isn't the same Jay Briscoe that beat Kevin Steen for the belt, what, two years ago? Yeah. Age catches up with all of us. And quickly at times. Can we give a shout out to uh, Kerry Silken that wa he was watching? Absolutely. Live on iPay-Per-View. He wanted to be here tonight. All fired up on Twitter. Oh. He's chasing that 40K from the, the niche. Hope he gets it. Elkin saying, bring it, Jay. Come on, keep throwing those jabs. I'll take your best shot. Offensive opportunity here for Jay. Can he capitalize or will Elgin be able to counter? Elgin's feet are on the outside for the superplex, but he's got to lift that big body weight up. And at this point, I don't think Elgin's going to let him. That's thing, when you're going for that superplex, you leave your side open a little bit. Elgin's solid. Face. Here he comes, watch out for that big lariat. Throws it as good as anyone. Watch the oh! The right don't get you, the left one will. Is it enough? No. The velocity of that left handed or left arm lariat. Sweat flew with that, and Elgin now clearly in the driver's seat. That may be a little bit of Jay Briscoe's soul. I 
out here intently watching. I think they're feeling the same thing as me. That Elgin now is getting trucking. Yeah. Getting ready to put away Jay Briscoe. The tables turn now with Elgin putting Briscoe in position for something big and devastating from the top rope. Briscoe trying to fight it. And again, like you said, Steve, that superplex attempt leaves you vulnerable on the side. Elgin was able to score it. So was Jay Briscoe, but look at this. Oh no. Elgin too strong. Just got more body weight across his shoulders. That could have been a three. Maybe. He's just too low down. He can't fault Jay Briscoe, like I said. He's really had it taken out of him. Like you said, Kevin, you can see the welts on his back there. He has had the life beaten out of him. And he refuses to quit. Determination is just so big in, in Jay Briscoe. To me, he was always a guy that fought like he was on borrowed time. Knowing Mark and Jay since they were teenagers, Steve, nobody would have ever predicted they would have had the longevity that they've had with the style that they wrestled. And now the Jay Driller, at least attempted, at least thought about from Jay. Exactly. Two, two kids from the farm. Oh! Keeps hold. What a great way to keep hold of that foot. Didn't let him get away and protect himself. There it is! Canadians love Ricky Choshu. Will Jay Briscoe tap out? Will a two-year run of not being defeated, pinned or made to submit in singles matches come to an end here tonight in Toronto? I he's got it all. Him. Yeah, he's got him. Come on, Jay. He could cause serious permanent injury if he doesn't tap soon. Elgin's got to sit on him, though. Yeah, Elgin's got to get down a little lower. Wow! I didn't expect that. We might be looking at a situation where the punishment that Elgin has absorbed prevented him from being able to fully apply that hold as much as he would have liked. Either way, yeah, you're definitely right there. I mean, it, it takes a lot to squat down, especially with you know, the weight of the guy's legs. For anybody who's done yoga, I did some yoga out before the show tonight. And just to, to hold that position when you're full of energy, let alone yeah. at the end of a match like this. With another man's legs and right yes. lower back there. Well, it's a very precarious position out here. So there we go, what he took a look uh -oh. at. That table, uh -oh. bad intentions. Table looming. Elgin's going to look to put his challenger through it. Briscoe had hold of that top rope. Jay, oh, it's just Jay Driller. Forget about the end of the... No! No! Jay Driller through the table, my God! Nigel McGinnis just left this to make sure that both men were okay. Dragging Elgin back in, trying to, he's dead weight. He's dead. He can barely move, that's it! Cover! One, two! Oh! oh so close! I'm gonna check him and see if he was still moving! Somehow Michael Elgin kicked out, I can't believe it! <laughs> Unbreakable and maybe unbeatable! Jay Driller through the table, not just in the ring, which is hard enough, but all the way down to the cement floor here at the Matabee! And somehow Elgin was able to kick out. He said he was the underdog before, but I have to tell you, boys, this is the opportunity for Jay Briscoe. Elgin can barely move. He's in the middle of the ring. This could be the last chance he ever has to hold that belt. Two warriors. Give it their all here in Toronto. Can Jay follow up though, or is he too weakened? 
He's there for the taking, Jay. And listen to this crowd. Almost split now between Briscoe and Elgin. What a moment. People starting to stand here. This is it! Elgin won't stay down, Steve. Wobbly, but still up. I think this is a mistake. Oh. He's given him too much time throwing those punches. Go for your finisher again! This is the most vulnerable I've ever seen Elgin! Look at it! Now Elgin is restarting that strength! He's coming back! He's using the pain to his advantage! Oh! Back fist by Elgin! How does he do this? I don't know it! <laughs> Wait a second! champion and Jay Briscoe that ended the reign of unbreakable Michael Elgin. Oh, no, 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 no. You're better than this. Elgin wanted to put the title around the waist yeah. of the man who beat him. An ultimate form of sportsmanship. A remarkable sportsman there and a great champion and unbreakable Michael Elgin. Give it up in the face of Michael Elgin, your heart goes out for Absolutely. He didn't want to duck anybody and 
Wow. So Briscoe is your winner. Fans, the world title has changed hands here tonight in Toronto at All-Star Extravaganza 6.